Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord, but you call me Lordy. It's how back in action playing Hell Divers 2 alongside Rambo Six Siege later today. It's most likely gonna be around two hour stream. Very, very chill, relaxing. And we're gonna highlight a new content Hell Divers 2. There's a new planet that's in the game currently. I've never seen this being playable before. So I was kind of interested about it. It's the one past this sector. I was actually in this sector. I was past the previous sector. We're gonna defend those areas. It's in Hellmire slash this area. We've never had this planet available. We've had this planet available, I believe, and possibly nothing else. And this is a new one. Full Reprime, okay. So this should be quite interesting. What's it about? It does have Tremors as one of its effects, naturally, which is all right. Can be decent. Nothing too crazy. And everything else on the map is kind of stagnant. Nothing too crazy has happened there. Oh, this person down there, chilling. I've never seen that person there. So in, let's get a armor kit going. I do want to test out the new Laz Dagger Pistol. This one here, the last seven dagger. Try that out, see if it's actually good as a shit, and go from there as well. So we expect two episodes to be recorded today on the stream for Hell Divers 2, for the uh, videos on the channel for later on. But also expect us to be playing Rambo Six Siege, highlighting the new operator, hiding, highlighting two new elite skins, and having fun in the game for at least an hour or so, or half an hour to an hour. I do have to play a game in my own time, because it comes out very soon and I want to be pretty much completed with the game at some point and hopefully I can do like a long session just playing non-stop and finishing the game but I'm very hopeful <laughs> good games good content always a blessing always is hi to all mates in chat hopefully everyone's doing well and swell hey Vex how you doing so Darth how you doing uh Hunter on Twitch how you doing Devo uh, Devoy how you doing do the hot cup of liberty yes that's what we do <laughs> Hey, Walker, how are you going? Hope they add this to Xbox. I hope so, but being a PlayStation exclusive, I don't think that's going to happen, to be completely frank. It's just like near impossible unless it ends up being like a one year mark thing. Like after one year of Helldivers 2 being out on PlayStation, they release it on Xbox. I can see that end up happening. The uh, automaton uh, front is nasty. Yeah, I know. It's crazy over there, too. Okay, let's get some things going. Uh, this weapon I don't like. I I've tried more and more, even in my own time. I don't like it. I do not prefer it, to be honest. I want to see with the last 16 circle. Just more consistent. Uh, armor rating, or armor aspect. Playing the minimum has always been kind of decent. This new armor set I really like, because the way it looks, looks beautiful. Problem is the passive only works if I'm using a full arc throw build, you know? Or with Tesla and stuff. And I don't mind that. Because it's a good way to have a conjunction between my main form damage of using last 16 and when that's about to cool off or needs to be cooled off i switch to the arc thrower which has infinite ammo so i can keep cycling no matter what which i might just run with this arm uh, armor just because of that one factor kind of enjoy it and possibly this doesn't look too bad this always looks way better. It matches my helmet too. Do like that. What's it going? Play hunting grounds? I, I don't think I will. Unless something crazy happen, uh, Joe. Like right now, we're waiting for the next like alien slash prey to hunting grounds game in the future. I'd rather do that. Are you a sore throat? Unfortunate hunter. I feel like everybody's sick these days. Much more than before. Let's play this new planet. The missions should be identical. There should be any changes. I'm going to make sure my match lo uh, lobby is actually working properly. Social options. There we go. Manage democracy continues. Let us rally to her defense. But a single triumph more. I don't mind this mission. I don't mind this one. I like this one. It should be fun. Oh, you're about to take the robot sector? Which one? Which sector are you about to take? Is the one close towards us, Super Earth, or is it closer, or is it further away? I'm glad that's actually working out pretty well. That front there has been going crazy. Like, it's just been stagnant. Like, back and forth, and then stagnant. I hope the lobbies are working. To push over the creek, nice. Well done. That creek is iconic. 
Many of the boss held over there, that's for sure. This one, yeah. So we're gonna use Arc Throw, you just have to. This is arm set. Followed up by possibly Shield Gen. Survivability. In further. Then Tesla. It's beautiful. And then we need something to get, get us continuous uh, kills if possible. I could use the 120, which is not too bad. All laser, which is more consistent. I'll just stick with gas, uh, gas strike. Or just rail can it? Oh, I don't know. I actually got to keep fire on KG because fire on KG will allow me to kill the large creatures. Well, everything else here will take a bit of time to kill large creatures. Or will barrage? Yeah, it's, they're nice. The barrages are very nice. Depends which one you want. Oh, it depends which one you want, though. So with the Gatling one? I'd never use the Gatling one, to be honest. Every other barrage I do use, but not the Gatling. I'm going to take the 120. It should still be able to kill. It just has to be lucky and actually land. Uh, it gets boring real quick. I kind of agree. It's just really repetitive. Well, I want new missions. The game is very highly uh, playable, depending on what missions you have. The missions are just all the same. It gets boring quick. That's just normal. Human nature. You get bored of that. That's been a discussion for after. Let's yeah, jump to the action on the new planet in Hell Divers 2. This is 4E Prime, and it seems quite interesting. It's super dark, and it's red. So it's quite nice. I wonder if the actual lighting changes during the match. We'll find out. I have no flash on this weapon. Dude. This one does have a flash on though. It's cool. Arc throw in. This map is maybe the only map where you need a flashlight. So I cannot see anything. Oh, I got a shield relay. Oh, dude, I, I stuffed up. So let's try to get a shield backpack. Wait, I got, I got a shield backpack. Oh, I lost my Tesla. Well, my armor kind of useless. <laughs> it's all right, though. We can make work with it. We can use the stop spewers, hopefully. Yeah, that's hilarious, though. Oh, it's a good tip for the main to watch this video or be part of the live stream. If you do use a slugger against spewers, it will work wonders. So viability goes up like tenfold. How's he going? Yeah, we'll go for this one, but I see some loot here, and I really want to go for it. Spewers. Oh, no, dude. I have impacts, though. I have impacts. Did I not die? No! Bullshit. Bullshit, dude. I hate their bug breaches. Was that my bug breach? No, it wasn't actually. It was the other one. Ah, so I actually did pretty well there. Didn't accept it. But it's too late now. Doesn't matter if I do well or not. Actually, I don't even know. Look at that range. Look at that range. It was about to kill me. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. What? Where'd you come from? Run! Run! Mates, I don't know about this planet. I don't know about this planet already. That time it came from the mountains or something. I didn't even see it or hear it. How do you call it without dying? Just press. Wait, what did I press? Actually, I don't even know how I did that. I did it for a second. I can't remember what button. I just pressed it. Man, it's a shield relay. Shield relays are pretty decent because of the cooldown as well. It's not too bad. Do we keep on running? Get some stab back. Lost viewers. Which are a problem. Watch out, dude. Power KG bomb on a spewer. This guy's nuts. Don't even kill it. Got it. I think I hit my teammate after that other one. Oh, 
There's one actually super uh, super mass. We gotta watch out for that. Shooter relay will help out against Spiel. It's been. See? Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But once they rush in, you run out of the circle. <laughs> oh crap, it nearly got me. It nearly got me. Because it can actually shoot from outside. That was. I'll shoot this jaw. Nice. Do the flamethrower. Oh my god. That truly was something. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this lighting looks nice here. I don't know why. But I got samples. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Collecting like no tomorrow. Are we still on the way? We are, we are. Nice. Yeah, this planet is very scary in the fact that, that it's actually really dark. So if you're not paying attention to your surroundings for a split second, things like a buy time just out of nowhere, and it's the worst thing that could happen. But that would kind of did some work there. At least the tits I did. It's quite nice. The combat needs to be cleared. Maybe I'll just do a 120. Do 120 yet. Watch out, there's 120. There's 120, L2. There's 120 in there. Watch out. If he dies, he's at his own risk. I called that out. Multi times. Oh, they killed him. If you stay, stayed up there, he would have been dead. What the hell? What is he doing there? Look, the bride's still going on for a bit. Probably does a bit of damage here. It's called the shield relay. Get some of this spit away from us. Is that gonna land on him? I don't like this. Dodge. Broke his legs. He's dead. On force reload. Did I rage quit? Because he died like three times. You love that? Full of grown sook. <laughs> Not a true hell diver. <laughs> oh crap, crap, crap. There's a couple here. See, the shield relay didn't last that long. Yeah, Jerry's sure trash. It's all about L2 being bad. That's hilarious. Keep burning them! Send these heretics away from us! <laughs> World of War. Uh, sorry, we'll have a reference, not World of War. We'll do like a, a quiz back in, in the household. It was like, guess the songs from each like soundtrack. And there was a, a lot of uh, music from World of War, zombies, and you have to guess the map it's from. It was hilarious. If people join you like Deep Rock Galactic? Yes, they can. Oh, Galactic. My bad. Yes, they can. Like I let go quicker than holding it there, because I would kill my teammate. Get right to the site. Well done. Yeah, I like this new map. And when it's like this, and there's not much fog and darkness, it looks like Fenrir a bit. Fenrir 3, which is like a moon map type vibe, you know? It's not too bad. I kind of prefer it. There's a lot of samples here, which I will collect at some point. Access terminal. Damn, are they dying? What the hell's going on there? That brute's going nuts. I 
I love Arc Throw, it's so fun. Oh shit, wait, what? Okay, spewers need some type of sound indicator. Because that is ridiculous. That is a complete joke that he just came out of nowhere and couldn't hear him at all. At all. Not one indicator at all. It's always the ones that spit. By Titan and Spewer, they're always the ones that just come out of nowhere. With no sound. By Titan has more sound instances than a Spewer does. Can you finish it? Oh, you want me to do it? I can do it. All good, dude. It's too half him. Some hell divers aren't the greatest. Or aren't the brightest. I'll give you a second. What? What? Oh yeah. Has to be one of them. <laughs> I'm on it. You press button. I got the terminal. I'm on it. No. I should try uh try it. Should try. Most likely, if the things get tough, people will rage quit. Always happens. There's fuels over there. Gotta watch out for those. What's that glowing thing there on the floor? Oh, it's one of the ammo stations. Where there's like a dead uh, civilian. We can dodge them. This is a great benefit. That was class, but I'm not getting to walk forward more. Oh, it actually killed me. Calling in reinforcements. I will kill when zapping. My team's all around me. I will end up killing them. We got some loot over here. Rare sample. Come on, samples. Nice work, team. They kill the charges. Flamethrower is so good against charges, by the way. I actually prefer it. Take a uh, flamethrower with a G3 stun grenade, and you have to stun the enemy, and then slow cook them. It's really fun. It's like a barbecue. The charger. <laughs> I like this part. This is an old bug nest. It is. Try to uh, actually destroy this. Requesting orbital. Requesting fortification. There's a 120 barrage. Watch out, 120. Is that stuck onto the enemy? I did call out. Yeah, burn him, burn him. Hey, Luke, how you doing? Hey, DI, how you doing? We're doing very well. Yeah, hit the like button, mate. Show that support. It means well, it truly does. As we have a lot of fun today. Need more samples. Give me that. That kind of looks like a stalker layer there. Because the way it looks like it's emitting. But it's not. It's just no bug outpost. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm on zero deaths. I haven't died at all. Like, especially against the countless spewers and bio titan surprises. The next objective is over here. No, I've not hit the actual sample cap. <laughs> I think for some samples I have like super material, and other ones I was close to, but then I end up using it at some point. This part looks really cool. Why? Why does it look so cool? What's this egg? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, is that always like that? I have never seen that when the egg's actually over the, the buttons. 
pretty cool feature. I like that. Pretty neat. All dead. Engaging terminal. Is he bright? Is he bright? Well done. A plus. <laughs> That's all the buttons. They're done? This was last one, I think. I'm on it. Wait, the person went away from the button, G3. I got the terminal. Sending in an eagle. Nice work, team. Nice work. Now, next objective's over here. There's a stalker there next to it. Oh, they did a UV scan. UAV. Wait, there's some loot here. Who the hell died there? Is that where we started? Oh, to move, there's an actual patrol. Oh my god. If I had moved up earlier, I would have been safe. I hope I throw them. Hit multiple at the same time. This charger might do some damage. Oh, nice done. With a slow cook, he's doing it. Oh, shit. That's the idea I was talking about. That will kill charges so quickly. Well done, well done. This is 4 up uh, Prime. It's a new one. The further sector against the aliens, against the bugs. Or Tumicid. Tumicide. Or they classified as. I always think about Tyranids because of War or Warhammer, so it's it's called my memory. Go backwards. Nice work. Bug breach. Got a barrage, baby? Oh my god. That bounce off the bloody hunter? It did. There's Barrage. S4, we gotta run. There's Barrage. Watch out. This hunter's gonna get me killed. Thank you for the bump. <laughs> we'll found super materials. You need them. Titan? Go fire on KG bomb, hopefully. Laser, nice. That's gonna work really well. I'm gonna run away though. Well done, team. Well done. Get the main objective ready. A little small patrol out on the outskirts there. A little compound. Go to the major one. This major compound looks like an extraction mission. Get up! Get up! Nice. That hit nobody there. Great work. Watch out for Spewer. Oh shit, that's my bad. I'll call you back in though. Oh, just nuke it. Do that. Sometimes things happen. And that's what happens with the arc throw. If you don't, you don't have the arc armor. Now I can't use the arc throw. Look at them. Actually, I can. Be far enough. Don't kill my teammates. Hunter, piss off. Kill the hunter first. Thank you. The hunter is a race thing. What are the 380? 380 is all right. I like the 120. 
See, small compounds get destroyed, but 380 is really good. Or on large compounds. For majority of the case, I'm not in too much of a large compound. I was going for heavy outposts, which main missions are not always classified as heavy outposts. Oh, I zapped the... That's completely acid. They're all pukers. Look at the bloody shield uh, region actually helping out. Oh, I can't help. I can't help. Perfect. It's not going through the spewer's body. Can't help. I can. Those warriors are green as well. They have green bottoms, which means they blow up when you get close to you. One teammate rage quit already. Oh, the stalker nest! There's a stalker nest close by to the left side, so watch out. We may actually lose this game. Because so many people rage quit, so we're losing reinforcements. I spawned close to the stalkers. Oh my god. S1 behind you! Nice work, nice work. A vet's jumping in. My gun's broken. Oh, my weapon's stuffed up. Yeah, my... It, they broke my gun. Le last 16 sickle has a problem. Why? You may have to force reload it. Maybe it's bugged. It was bugged. Where's the other stalker nest? There's another because they keep spawning. There's no way. But we did a UAV scan, so he should have came up. Call you in. And thank you, Vet, for joining. Maybe it was the stalkers from that last nest that you killed. Was you still roaming about? Could have been, there were like five of them. Yeah, I think so. That was roughly the same. Spewers, man. I, I can't kill them with this weapon. I have to actually, like, I can kill them, but the weak spots, obviously, the, the green uh, areas, which are usually prone to being protected from the front, it's only good at, with crossfire. I could have used the impact nade there, to be really frank. So it was a misplay on my part. It was kind of like tunnel vision. Yeah, I don't mind this new planet. Much more atmospheric, I would say. It's just so dark. Yeah, where's my loot from earlier? Is that my loot there? It's one of those bodies in the center of the actual compound. Nice work. Can't drop that wall. You stole me gear. Now you can have it. I call my stuff. I call my stuff. Take it. Take it. I realized <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Have it. <laughs> hey, Jesse, how you doing? Hey, Bevan, how you going? If yeah, people just leave, I, I hate when the people just leave. But honestly, it was a blessing in disguise. We got vet in one of the mates of the channel. So I'm glad about that. Because we do not rage quit. Oh, 
Oh, piss off. Wait, the hands are killing. Whoa! Oh, I'm flying. I'm dead. My leg got completely busted, though. I got a force reload this. That's actually attached to a spewer. That's unlucky. And I'm fully safe. Perfect. Not see much here. Dual transporting's happening. I feel like I haven't done one of these missions forever. Have we ever done a mission like this? I've never seen this part. Oh, just I have not been observant enough. Pretty cool. I like it. You know those people for rage quitting? Ah, uh, no. They will never. Games that are meant to be casual will never put a penalty on rage quitting. Because it's casual. It's just not possible. I, I, I've played too many games from different uh, calibers and difficulties that I would say that a game that is always focused on casual player audience, which this game is very much focused on casual player audience than ever before, it wouldn't put a punishment on those players at all. Drop in, play, leave if you don't want to play. Simple as that. Or you feel like it's out of bounds, you just leave. Yeah, Elva, I know. You told me last time. You got held eyes too. Congrats. Yeah, true. But like your chances of winning are much lessened uh, by people rage quitting. But also, sometimes those people rage quitting is a blessing and you get better players in your lobby, which then you can actually win the, the map. Laser Dog plus Arc Blitzer. I still have to unlock the Arc Blitzer. I'm a couple of medals away from it though. No, I haven't tried the last weapon, but maybe the last uh, next match I'll try out your weapon or we'll match after it. I'll try not to die. You can have like zero deaths. Another compound. The spewer right there, isn't it? Isn't that a spewer? The spewer looks so small. It looks like. The flying bugs. Nah, it's definitely a spewer. It's gonna take four mags, by the way. This might take more than four mags. <laughs> oh my god, it's tied in there as well. There's two titans on me. Two titans. Damn, this is really bad. That was going to slow me down. What the hell is that? Wait, what's that green stuff in the, in the air? Huh. I've seen that before. Might be like a UI, a UI bug. This guy's doing perfect Tokyo Drift. Movement. What is that? I dropped my samples. A lot of samples on my body that just died on. Oh my god. What was that? He did Tokyo Drift movement. It was like Fast Furious. How? Uh, that weapon he's using? I don't know about it. The more I think about that explosive weapon, the more I hate it. So the Jar 5, the like, majority of the guns in this game actually have like a really niche audience, and they're very vocal about the weapon being like so good. You know? But sometimes I just hate it. Like eight shots? Look, look! He shot like 10 shots? That spewer, I feel like it's not even dead. I oh, know he did die. But took like 10 shots with an explosive weapon. It's nutty. Do you get the samples? Hopefully so. Yep, nice. Oh. 
Yeah, all, pretty much all the weapons that you expect in the future. Some will be a hit and some will be a miss. Like a major miss, by the way. Well, that's the way it's going to be. Regular still uh, one shot spills in the mouth. That's nice. Regular still effective against Hulks, too. Gets on automatons. Still effective. It has its use case scenarios. So I can understand why people have somewhat fixated on using that weapon build, like the iconic weapon build from Bast, and keep using it. It still works. It's not bad at all. One minute to everything else. I was hoping that since we're getting closer towards the end of the sector. What was that? Oh, Tremors! <laughs> I thought he chucked something at me and it stunned me. I was like, what is that? Look at that sample. Yeah, I was hoping since the new planet being so close to the end of the sector. They would see something new. Like a new alien, a new part of the environment in some way. Which you can highlight future content. That was a sorry for. Ah, there's Titan. Titan spawned. Run. Oh my god. There's 120 over there. Call the 120. Damn. Wait for the refresh. I can actually just force reload if I need to. Right now, I'm looking pretty good. Now, force reload. With my Arthur as well. And being here is actually a lot of like safety for me. Until it goes off. Gotta watch for that. Cooldown's pretty quick though. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. I nearly died. I thought I nearly killed my teammate. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Nice work. Oh no. Got it. Well done. Uh, where, where the, where's the body? Where's the body? Uh, Ty's pull behind you. Watch out. E2. My gun's bugging out, man. Stupid bug on this weapon. It happened in the new patch. I hear it. What do I see it? I see over there. Got it. Man, just die, man, please. Yeah, got away from it. My shield went off, so I nearly got myself killed there. Nice work, well done. Charger. Nice shoot there. Keep it up, keep it up. These are alive? Yeah, they are alive. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice work.
Oh my god, I, I nearly died just then. I'm too fast. No! Okay, that's crazy. Catch it. I just dodged a crush of claws from that spewer. Well done, well done. Good work, team. How's he going? Oh, this team was disgusting. Like, after all the rage quits of the bad hell divers, and now with all the good hell divers, we win. <laughs> and that's the new planet gameplay on the planet. 4R um, Prime, I think it's called. 4I Prime. What do you classify it as? It's an interesting planet because it's got a darker scheme, redness. And it feels like I can't see shit half the time. So it gives surprise attack continuously. But a lot of fun. Did I just see a flying bug? Did anyone see that flying bug go past the screen? Am I tripping out? I feel like I saw for a split second a flying bug. Or maybe it was just a bird on the, the planet. I don't know. I've got no clue. But that was quite fun. Honestly, quite fun. If you made it to our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lord EA Game Subs for 10% off, and also BTLMerch.com. Show sport greatly appreciated. GG's, GG's. That was a lot of fun. And good amount of samples, too. Love it. Absolutely love it. We'll try out the other weapon as well. I'll try the last seven, and I believe Vet has Splitzer. So we can try that after. The, uh, the match after it. So play three matches in total. Which I think we can actually finish the whole operation then. If I'm mistaken. Democracy at all costs. And the shield relay generator didn't do too bad there. It's still somewhat useful. I don't mind. I thought these missions here we could do too quickly, and there's no point. What's this one? So I can show the, show the dagger at its full prime. Oh my god. Uh, someone here is actually kind of good. Yeah, maybe there's a group to go from one compound to another. And complete these stuff in the way if you want to. Get us in. Get us in, man. I'm gonna play. What condition are present? It was only tremors, but there's obviously operation modifiers which change certain things. But that's the only thing that's part of the new environment is tremors. It would be cool, uh, kind of cool to see some more stuff be added. Like how we got Tanae's accessible through Hellmire. It'd be kind of interesting. Oh, sorry. I felt like I was waiting for something else. My bad. I was like, why is it not working? It's because it wasn't a valid spot. I'll try to get 380, but I feel like this is going to be awful for me. I have a feeling. So, uh, the weapon that we're going to showcase is a last 7 dagger. It's a laser pi pistol that continuously shoots, has a heat aspect towards it, so if it heats up, can't use it. But pretty much you have infinite ammo on this weapon. Is it good? Is it bad? Let's find out in this gameplay right now. Another ass blast this. <laughs> yeah, see, that's hilarious. <laughs> now I'm fully focused. Mixed opinions about the dagger, I would say so. But what I've heard as well is seems to be similar. It has three uh, reload options, so that's nice. This reload looks quite stunning though. Kind of like it. See the mag sticking out. 
And a damage aspect to this. This is the one thing that's been the most questionable. Obviously, it deflects off pretty much anything, I feel like. Because it's only got light armor pen, most likely. Takes a while for it to actually do anything, how it seems. But let's kill something smaller. Because I'm not going to try this on the charger. We know it's not going to work on the charger. Let's try it against, like, Hunter or even a Brood. The limbs fell off. It was already weakened by the Blitzer. Mount Vaults ready. Let's use our old weaponry. We'll try and mix it into the gameplay. I'm hitting the weak spot of the spewer and does nothing. Oh my god. I know one of the benefits is being able to run and still shoot. But I get it. It's a one handed weapon. But I really can't do anything with it. This will be challenging to use. I dedicated my whole playtime just then just to use this, and I just lost completely. Yeah, it's got shotgun. You can kill four. Yeah, it's like four or five shots. Some people say up to six, depending on how you hit the weak spot. It's cool. Other stuff for survivability. Against Hunters is right, it needs a quicker time to kill. I'm actually gonna die, by the way. Oh my god. And now I took the optimization. Oh, the booster that gives you uh, more meds when you spawn. Of course, there's bloody a stalker nest close by too. Well, use my dagger on the stalkers? Hell no. Nah. That's death zone for us. That's just awful. Pick up his gun. We'll be using the gun after, but like, not right now. What? I'm looking at the wrong one, that's why. Doesn't work. I don't get it. I hear your stalkers around me. Give me a second. That that is dog shit. Oh my god. Yeah, like you have infinite ammo, but you have to manage the heat sink. On a weapon like that last 16 second, it's of great use because it doesn't really overheat as quickly. But with the overheat on the last seven being so high, high. Especially with its time to, kill was, uh, time to kill being so low, it creates this weird contradiction of why you would pick this weapon. Like, I like the style of it. I like the idea of having a laser weapon as your secondary. It's kind of cool. Like, all, on, on paper, it sounds pretty decent. But in gameplay, it's just really awful. And I don't think you can really change much about it except make the beam somehow stronger. Like, to kill enemies. So, we're like, it's like a mini laser cannon instead of being a mini laser scythe. You know? That could possibly work in that aspect there. But I, I don't know. Hey, it's not looking too good. Is this a stalker nest? It's right here, isn't it? I'm swimming. No! <laughs> That's bullshit, by the way. It kept my input, but when I try to throw it and then I drowned, it kept my input. So when I came out of water, it automatically pressed it. That's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. 
I've never thought a game could do that, especially in the FPS or third uh, third person. Like fighting games, they, they have that as a part of their net code sometimes. But in this game, I don't expect that to happen at all. Like I press G when I'm in the water and it gets me killed when I come out of it. So it throws the animation then. <laughs> Swimming's death. Like if you know you start swimming, you start to panic. Two seconds after, you're pretty much dead. That has to be a sewer here. This is so dark. I see it over there. Oh, it's still active. That's why. I'm dead. Where is this fucking stalker nest? Ah, uh, I pinged it. Yeah, it's over there. Man, oh, I hate hunters. There's spore of you. Can someone break it? I don't have the weapon to break it. I can't even break it. Because I have all laser-based weapons, which makes that completely useless. I'm chucking this at it. Thank you. I was chucking a spew at it. Oh, sorry, not spew at the barrage. Honestly, I want to say I'm flustered using this weapon. I don't think it was even necessary to even have in the game. Fucking hell! Oh my god! I'm pressing other buttons from other video games. That's crazy. That time it was actually intentional for me to press that button. Because in other other games it's heal. Oh dude. So I get for playing too many games. I'll always usually solo play if you don't want to play uh, party. Yeah, you can. Not really. You can just make it uh, friends only and no one can join you then. So then it does become solo play. Where are we? This is a stalker nest. Let's try again. I'm trying to use it, by the way. I am trying. I'm trying to showcase some type of use case scenario for it, but there isn't. Like, what weak spot do I have to hit? I'm dead. What weak spot do I have to hit? I, I shoot its legs or its limbs, does nothing. I go for its head, does nothing. Why does this just suck? For a third page item, this is awful. Absolutely awful. Like, I know secondaries are not supposed to pack a punch, but at least give me something. Yeah, this map's super dark, by the way. I, I did say that. It gets really dark, this map. The new planet. But I'm completely frank that this pistol sucks. I actually think it should get buffed. Like, a, like crazy buffed. In two ways. The, the beam damage to be increased, to be like someone to a laser cannon. So might have even medium armor pen if they keep the same time to heat. Like it heats up the same way. Okay, at least it's got medium armor pen. It can be useful in majority scenarios as a like, weapon you can use when you're running and gunning. Do that. If not that, you have to somehow make the beam not heat up quick enough. But even then, the weapon will still suck. So I feel like my first option was way better. How to fix it. Like, what is that? It didn't even kill it. I got its head off, and then it, it, it pretty much goes crazy. So it enraged it. I'm dead. This is looking really bad. What? Oh, I got comboed. I thought it was just the hunter that hit me. I got hit by the titan and spit. Wait, my thing didn't spawn off. My reinforcements. Right, 
Keep pressing it, Vet. Keep pressing it. Stress him out. Stress him out. <laughs> I can't press it anymore. <laughs> Fuck, I'm landing it. It did nothing. Wait, is Vet still here? Or Vet DC? Rex is in though. So horrible RNG, yeah, it's looking awful. Rex is in and he doesn't know what's going on. We're getting absolutely cooked here. Absolutely getting cooked. But with Rex, we can survive. I think we just run. That's just still alive, I can tell you. I'm not even kidding. Oh, it's dead now. Yeah, it's starting to get going. Oh, another one? If we get jumped by another stalker um, group, we pretty much lost the game. And they're also going the wrong way. Come on, last seven. Be useful. Go on. Do something. I'm dead. Hide behind the rocks so I don't die from spit. Nice work. Uh, Spill more is crazy accurate? Yeah, they can be. You have to really watch out for them. That's why I keep looking up, just in case. Oh, shit. I didn't look there, though. Oh, my God. Run away, run away, Titan. I called a 380 there. I called a 380, watch out! I did that again, I, I dived. Oh, I went prone. That's all dead. Oh, d oh. Let's hope that nothing goes wrong here. Do we just run through it? It's looking really bad for us. 380 did nothing. I called it the worst time. I should call it the close towards us. No! I run, I run. No, you can. When you get hit by the bloody uh, mortars from the spewers, it actually goes crazy. It's when you don't pay attention, there's like 10 or 20 spewers, and the whole map is just green with explosions. Like, I don't know, this pistol can't get good. Like, I just don't see it working out. Like, it's cool in essence, like, having, like, a pistol like this. It looks really cool. For perspective. But... Just the way it is right now, I don't see myself ever using it again. Pulling in I'll be most likely not using this weapon ever again at all. Until it gets a buff. I don't see a use case scenario for it. Maybe against the robots could be somewhat decent. But even then, I think it would be too lackluster because the amount of damage it has. So I don't think it could even be useful there. Because your secondary should be consistent in the way that it kills stuff when it's rushing you, when you're running out of ammo in your primary weapon, or you need to reload, or you don't have a, a sport weapon to utilize. You move to your secondary to kill something quickly and then go back to full reload animations on the other weapons. That's the goal for it. And if it can't be consistent in that, I don't want to use it. You need to get the codes now. Down 
That's Tesla, by the way. You better run. <laughs> I've created a mini game for him. Cruel, cruel, cruel. <laughs> He's gonna die. It's RNG game. It's RNG game. Oh. Oh. Well done. You survived the Helldiver games. <laughs> Ah, uh, stalker nest. It was over here. No, actually, it might be over here because the way they came in. But I feel like it's over there, the left. That's over there. Never mind. That was that. Because of this weapon, they've now called a bug breach. Oh my god. Also, I like the last 16 sickle because it reminds me of the pulse right from Dead Space. If you ever play Dead Space in general, Dead Space 1 or 2, even 3, it's great. There's pulse rifle. It's identical in nature. It just doesn't have a grenade launcher but, uh, next to this one. This is dog shit awful. Yeah, there's one of you. Oh, I proned. I might actually die. The sword is gonna rush me. Oh, I stayed there, never mind. Stalker, stalker. Nice work. There's a couple stalks still out, though. Watch out. I know you've got fully heated. Yeah, it's, it's too hard to manage this one. No, in a fun way, it's kind of boring. But that's the only use case scenario is that. That's the only use case scenario. Be able to run and gun like that. But I believe all secondaries are classified as one handed, so they all do the exact same thing. And technically, you don't have to reload it as a run and gun weapon. But don't expect things that you're running from to actually die. Unless there's something tiny. I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. The way I don't die is not using that weapon at all. It went through the rock. Hell bomb! Gee, that's the, I'm running to the combat with the hell bomb. Nice work. We got reinforcements. No issue. Stalker. So yeah, I switched to the primary weapon. But in every case, you're going to use a primary weapon against Stalker. And you're going to use a sport weapon against the other ones. The, like, the use case scenario that is this weapon, the secondary, the last seven dagger, should only be used to kill tiny things. And at that purpose there, it can be somewhat useful, like these green little small spitters can kill them. Or the little small red redbacks, or even these ones here, you can be somewhat effective against them, as you see. If that's the case they've built this weapon for, and that's the only thing they wanted it to work for, they achieved it. But even then, I only kill like two or three, maybe four, before I have to reload. If I'm holding the beam seriously. 
So obviously being a laser weapon, you're not supposed to. But you kinda have to. Did I get hit from below? I definitely did. So that spew hit me. There's so many. That died? Wait, I shot it and it died? With the last 16 sickle? Okay, I'll accept that. Hey, chill. Aim them! Not me. Thank you. <laughs> Another tide in the distance. Wait, did I just call him in? Oh, someone else called him in. Yeah, see, these are bursting before they die. If you close towards them, you actually get affected by the green war variants. They're like green bellies. It's like a modifier. I'm gonna call respawn. I desperately need it. Oh my god, I stopped that last input because that's a walk. Damn, I didn't get the respy. The three A's over there. We're getting a bit. Not an issue. Just as long as we don't die. That 380 went over here, by the way. That was close. And it's doing a lot of work, actually. Which is nice. This place is so heated right now. Go on, aim him. Is that it? That should be it. That's it. Is it a race play? Oh shit! I'm still stuck because of the stratagems. They're using the last seven here. That's these little ones here. Dead. Two. Three. Three kills. Do that situation. Only time it's useful. Only time. That's crazy to me. Uh, oopsie. <laughs> no, there's still more here. Yeah, I know. All good. <laughs> there's more spills in there. Yeah, there is. Most definitely. Took my shield off. Yeah, it nearly got me. The water kind of saved me there. Play throw in there? Alright. I should have got 15 minutes. Should be doable. That's so dog shit. <laughs> nice work. But evil dead again? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. There's no reason to. Unless it's for like a certain month, like Halloween, we just play those games. Nice work.
Another tank coming in. I'm doing the buttons. I think it's scared of actually burning me, I think. Kill Titan. Nice. Engaging terminal. I got the terminal. Charger over here. Got that done? Charger gone. This is working really well. It's actually called the L uh, Last 7 Dagger. That's what it's called. The pistol. I love the sickle. Oh, Dropped hella samples though. They had all our samples from earlier. Well, everyone's been collecting. Okay, so we're done. We should leave this area. Correct. I'm gonna to pick up samples. samples. Like ten of each. Yep, going there now. That's the cavity's body, then they can have it. It's a lower side. Got him? Am I still a nice place to play on as well? I don't mind it. Enjoy, DI. Enjoy, enjoy. That charge there is kind of looking like a menace, so I'm not going to bother with it. So walk around it. <laughs> Got to respect some batteries there. Did not see that time. Got a squad fight. In an Try to drag them all out before I go past them. It's old zombie strat. Before duty zombies. Well done. Found super samples. Hell yeah. Collect them all. I think I'm maxing super though, so it doesn't really matter for me. <laughs> I need more rest and commons. Is that a super? Like last upgrade. Yeah, you're right. That's normal. You just still have the green spies and stuff. That's fine. Well, let's go. Like, my gameplay, I'm more moving towards the primary weapon gameplay than using the secondary. But that's what a secondary is. You're not meant to use it 24-7. So, I don't know. I'm a bit 50-50 on this. I hate it, and then also I can understand how they want it to be implemented. What the hell was that? We have to go another Plus one, with no indication at all. <laughs> the way you shoot up as you're falling down, that's hilarious. Was that a good idea to put it there? I just realized that's a really bad idea. It's not gonna spawn. <laughs> gonna bug out. I'll keep bouncing. Keep watch, keep bouncing. Oh, I didn't bounce again. Stop. Ah, 
Uh, press the terminal again. This is my ammo. <laughs> I've taxed it. Wait, there is a button throw. Wait, hey, what? Is that always a button? Why oh, I just tripping out? These are buttons just naturally prone. Hey, JK, how you doing? On Twitch, how you doing very well? Using the author wrong? Really? Joining the fray. No, I don't think so. You're supposed to charge it halfway and they keep like staggering it. So one full charge, it's a multiple half charges. Unless I'm aiming incorrectly with the arc thrower. That's the thing to consider. I'm in the worst position. Destroy that. I got your samples. Oh, thank you. Absolute legend. I'm gonna die for a spit. That was close. Should have made a land on the buy titan. I made a mistake there. We could call it on the buy titan and then we'll land on it directly. Nice, nice. Hey, Queen, how you doing? I will go activate the terminal over here. I think it's a couple times, but there's no issue. I'm watch out for the arc. <laughs> yeah, I'm all good. Don't go close, don't go close. I'm not gonna talk about that one. <laughs> oh god. Do you have saddles with you? No, no. It's cool, okay, good. <laughs> Fair enough to talk about that one at all. <laughs> the actual beam uh, bounced between my, my armor and killed my teammate. That was funny. I don't give a shit about it anymore, so I just walk through it like it's nothing. But for teammates, they don't have the armor set on, they just get completely destroyed. Tagging map, northeast. Oh, Marco. Keep running, G3. It's a barrage. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Now look back, just run, just run. That should hopefully kill everything.
So I can see how people get mixed opinions about the dagger. I can see some people think it's all right or good enough, and others just hating it completely. So I can see it. I see the perspectives. I understand it. Will I be using this weapon continuously? Maybe not, especially if I'm using the last 16. It creates issues with like sports viewers. I can't destroy them unless I use a, um, you know, something substantial like a stratagem or a supportive weapon that can destroy them. But in majority of cases, I will most likely have a secondary that does that. It can just be used in any case scenario and just work out pretty well. So that second machine gun pistol you get from a standard war bonds pass, or the, the only machine pass, uh, the only machine pistol in the game, that pistol there is like technically the best secondary. It does everything you want, and it's just consistent. And you get like kills on hunters pretty quickly, sometimes two kills. And getting a hunter off you when you're running uh, running away with a one-handed weapon is quite nice. I do not mind that at all. I was about to say there's two tie-ins, but I'm right. <laughs> well done. Quite nice. Wait, how did it zap you? And it didn't zap anyone else. That's really weird. Like, I'm in the inner circle. It didn't zap through me. It was just RNG based. I'm not going to test it. Because my whole team dies to my own Tesla. We're very clear over here, though. It's nice and safe. 500 kilos. probably going to walk on it. Oh, he's not walking around it. No, go that way. <laughs> oh, I went for the mech. That's why. What the hell happened there? I think I got too early. Oh, I was flying for a second. Oh my god. The hunter jumped on it. You saw that? That shit was crazy. I nearly died. The shield saved me. Oh my god. There's water there for some reason. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, we run. I stopped for a second to try and throw the rocket pot up. Get the samples, I had the super samples. Doesn't matter, well, man! A Titan on top I'm about to die! Yeah, run. That's it. We lost uh, more than that! Oh shit! Respawn, go, 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 go! Make something happen! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, no attraction, attraction, attraction! Ah, uh, too far. Honestly, you can just time it out. You run away from the site and just time it out. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Just run away, hide, reinforce stuff, and then just yeah. Especially for the mortars. Get the mortars. Oh wait. Wait, what? How did that happen? My trip out, wasn't it like 10? Wait, how do you activate it from that far? Wait, how, how did that happen? I thought we had 10 minutes remaining. Was it 10 minute, minutes or was it a minute? No, no, we had 10, we had 10 seconds remaining. Ah, oh, that's why I'm tripping balls. Fully on saddle. I was like seeing like 10 to 11 minutes. I'm like, oh yeah, easy. Just back out. Survive. Easy. She just ran completely to the other side instead of being close. I knew the time was that low. 
Oh no, he's going swimming. He's going swimming. Bad luck. <laughs> GG's there, GG. Even though we lost, we still won because the mission was completed. And that's all that matters. Uh, when it comes down to la last turn pistol, I will not be using it again. To be completely frank, I am not interested in using this for longevity in any aspect. Especially because the use case scenario is very low for me. In those occurrences, we're going to have to kill the smallest degree of creatures, like those little spitters that you see there, those alien spitters. I could use any other weapon and it will be much more effective. So there's no point. So, decent weapon, could be way better with a buff, but depends on what they want to do. Arrowhead and the devs of health derby too. That's pretty much it. That's my opinions on that weapon. If you mates on your channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow the Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordy at game subs for 10% off, and also btimemerch.com. Show support, greatly appreciated. GG's. A lot of fun. I think I might stop here for this, for these episodes. And then move on to playing some Rainbow Six Siege and having fun there as well. Because I've been addicted to it. The multiplayer experience has been insane. Did I save the other gameplay? I don't even remember. Last seven dagger. No, I did not save it, for sure. Another one was... Whatever it was before. Keep it safe. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Well, Rex, I want to go. Okay? All right, all right. Have a good one. You too. It's a lot fun. of fun. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy. It's fun. Okay, bye bye. See you, mate. <laughs> all right. <later>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me switch games quickly, mates. As we do. The BRB sc uh, screen. It's still Texas. I've got to change that. <laughs> I play Texas in forever. Uh, I'll give you a second. Let me start my other game. But yeah, I have a lot of fun with Hell Dives too. But I know now, since I'm maxed out, I don't really don't feel like I want to grind out for medals because it feels meaningless on those missions. But I just can't play 24-7. It's just impossible. Like, I play it here and there for an hour or two. Anything more than that, it actually takes, like, a hit on the soul because it's just so repetitive. I don't know if anyone else has that exact same experience right now with Helldivers at the same caliber of level experience. It just feels like that. And I only have a hundred and... 15 hours in the game, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong, that's still a lot. 100 hours of anything is a lot. But in other games, I've done a lot more. Just advanced fronts, yeah, but that can just drive me insane. Doing that continuously. And as a single player, I don't think I have that much of a metric to help out with that. I don't think I've played Rainbow Six Siege on the channel in years. You know that, mates? In years, I have not played this game. This is incredibly interesting to see what occurs here. For better or worse. I'm going to play like a complete noob. We'll go from there. The burnout came out too soon? Yeah, I think so. That was the, the first DLC was burnout. <laughs> but I don't know. Hope for the best, as we do. I think certain games, they have like their life cycle now. Back then, you'd play like Call of Duty Black Ops 1 for a whole year and still want to be playing it. Games now, they only live a certain amount of time and they're fun for a certain amount of time and then it comes down to it, it's more of revisiting a game. I have like a section of games I like to revisit. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Hell Dives 2. Those games will be re revisiting here and there just to have fun. But there'll be other games where I play more 24-7. And I honestly think Rainbow Six Siege and some other games like that, like League of Legends and all that stuff, is a lot of fun for 24-7. I don't mind it. Even Dead by Daylight. Well, I would class, classify it as like a 24-7 game. Because the, there's a bit of a competitive nature in these type of games, which I like. Can we transition to that screen? It's going to be a whole bunch of words as we connect to the server. Let me update the Twitch title. As it loads in. I don't know if anyone else's game takes this long to load in. Or is it just me? With the Australian internet. Oh, it loaded in. Nice. Okay, new playlist. Ranked straight away. I'm currently still ranked, so I'm still going, going through the ranks. I'm the best player. But the new operator was Deimos. And thanks to Ubisoft for being able to uh, sending us a certain code to be able to play the character. 
early through the battle pass of year 9, I believe. Or year 8. One or the other. Uh, it's really cool. This guy has like a death mark ability. He's able to tag enemies in a certain way with his ability. So it starts off with selecting a certain upgrade that you scan throughout the longevity of the match through droning. And then from there, you send a little like mosquito flying bug thing. I don't know what it is. A little drone gets sent off. And once it goes towards the enemy, it actually provides you with wall hacks. And now you're forced to use your secondary pistol, which is like a magnum pistol. And it showcases a red dot on where the last known location is of that enemy uh, from their foot level. If that makes sense. I say foot level because you want to aim higher than that. And then from there, you can actually shoot through walls in order to kill targets. And you can keep doing that, I think, around three times in one round. And that goes, uh, recharges throughout the ground. It gains more charges. Let's hope there's no one rude in this. Should I mute people? In this game? I, I don't know. I feel like this game's kind of edgy. And also, I don't know the maps. Like, I know coastline, I know border. This shit, never seen. So that's such a fun. And also, thanks to Ubisoft, they sent us uh, uh, some elite skins too. I think for Nock and also Ying, which are two of the operators for attackers. One has a invisibility towards cameras, like Vigil on defense. You know about that character or not. Another one has constant flashbangs, which go completely nutty. It's a good way to enter, engage, fight enemies. It's a lot of fun. And honestly, this game has captured more of my attention recently because of seeing uh, Moise Critical, Jinxie, Shroud play it. And it's just like, you know what? I miss Siege. And I've jumped on, and I'm not mining at all. Let's ban Ram. <laughs> it's a bit of a competitive shooter. It's going to be toxic. Yeah, I know. Can't really stop it. I might mute everybody in chat. In game chat. Currently the best silver player. Yes, that's me. That's me. 100%. All the hackers and glitch situations. I haven't played TCM at all. The last time we played it, you saw on the channel, was uh, when Danny and Nancy were out. After that, I have not touched the game since. It's been like two months. Two, three months from that time. Honestly, I wasn't interested. Uh, I'm not interested in playing the game at all. Unless something new comes into the game. And I know there's a new map. People have been tagging me to watch it. So I might do like a reaction to it. It's, I think it's called The Mill. And a new character they showcase as well. But I don't know what the character does. So I think there'll be a good little reaction we could do after. Maybe not live on stream. I'll set up the camera and do like a live reaction. I think it'd be fun. Or like a Lordy reacts. Oh, someone took Deimos. Hey, can I use Deimos? Please? Um. Oh, thank you. You legend. You better jump up, jump up and turn around. I can. I can twerk it too. <laughs> Mate, you better drop it low. Oh! So you, I can make it clap. <laughs> These games, I tell you, this shit is funny in nature. Wait, did I pick Deimos? Mate, you guys are already better than last bomb. fucking dick shit we had last match. <laughs> We're gonna watch out. If they start popping up with swearing, we will change it. <laughs> it's just funny though. <laughs> okay, so this is the droning phase. Droning phase is kind of interesting. And I'll tell you, if you've never played uh, first person shooter, and if you have played first person shooters, you've never played something like Rainbow Six Siege. It's completely unique. The game's just bonkers. So we're going to scan people here so we get the Deimos tag. Usually you don't want your drone to get destroyed. You can use that as constant intel, which is not too bad. But the yeah, scanning yeah. that we've got on four enemies, or the four enemy operators, they can't change. We can change in this stage until the last two Five seconds and we get locked four, out. Three, so if I want to change my character, I could something else depending on their team comp. But I'm happy with Deimos. We've got those charges on the bottom right, charging up slowly. And we have the targets we can actually uh, fluctuate between on the left side of the screen. And I run with the AK-12, I believe it's called. Go to ACOG site. Feels pretty good. Don't mind it. And we got the Magnum. This map, I am not good at this map at all. I've never seen it. I feel like I've never seen it. What the? Let me drain this quickly. Probably no mute. They don't have mute, so we're all good. Is someone clear in the sector here? What I'm doing with the drone is just searching around. Can you break this? No, you have to nade it. Oh shit, I have frag grenade. It's not impact nade. Wait, they don't break break with frag grenades. Oh wow, that's a mistake. I thought it would break with uh impact only, maybe. That's how it works. Well they in this compound here. I could go from above. Which honestly might be the play. It's only above. Still here though. Oh, 
Don't want to stay case in here. Let's use that ability. Let's tag someone. So the, the cast guy. This is roaming around, I think. Castle's over there. Close by. Hold you. Someone's on the staircase. Someone's on top of the staircase. Falls in him, though. He was outside. Damn, they both went outside. Cocky. Well done. Well done. My team was completely dead. Well, did they die at the same time as me? They had to die at the same time as me. Oh, same to Rainbow Six, yeah, of course. But compared to other FPS games, completely different. Like, if you're playing COD, then you go to Rainbow Six each, completely different experience. Okay, we need to find a way to enter the side better. Because cast kind of ruined me there. Like, I just couldn't enter it. I had to go through a whole different way because it had no impacts. And you can't melee castle's things unless you're Sledge, most likely. There's a way to counter it. And also, fun fact, I used to be Diamond in this game. Back in the past, I was a Diamond player. So I was pretty high on the like rank system. But now, with all the new operators, all these new gadgets, I have missed out a lot. Being like original OG beta player. Now see what the game has, it's just so much content. So it feels really fun to be a part of. It's like when I lived Dead by Daylight for like a couple years and came back to it, I'm like, what the hell? This game's actually fun. <laughs> Things are nutty. I don't know how to get around this map, by the way. I know there's a middle connector bridge that I saw where the other player jumped me, the Jaeger player. Which I don't know if you connect it from like the top level or level two. I think it's level two though. No, top level, West Wing, yeah. Fire. You gave a call out? I have no clue what that is. So I'm just gonna follow my team. And, and we have no scans, which is really bad. Which means I can't use my death mark to get constant wall hacks on an opponent. Best case scenario here, I just activate it and my drone and just go around the map and have a little search. A little gander. Actually, there was nothing up there, but I'm pretty sure. I definitely hear people roaming. Wow, they were roaming there. So there's somewhere around here. It's not this part of the building, it's this part, guaranteed. They're hugging that little tower area. You can't, you can't go up from here. Oh, because it blocked it. I'm trying to find a way to crossfire, but it's looking awful. And then the hatch is above. Kev, Kev, other side of so uh, map. Lower bridge. I'll push in, I just gotta push in. Diffuser is no longer in your possession. Lower last operator standing. Now, Kev, we'll find her with this. She's a Roma. And then you. I see you. One friendly operator remaining. I should have scan. Oh my god. I did it. Well done. That was clutch. See, roaming there was the best idea. Because they have so much intel from all the camera setup inside the perimeter of the area. That running away from it was the better idea in all cases. So I was happy with that. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll play Damos again for this round. And then we won't be on attacker side anymore. But I have some operators here. I think it's Ying. Is this, oh, you can't see the skins here. I won't showcase the elite skins. Because they look kind of nutty. Not gonna lie. They're really nice. Wait for it to start up. If you basically have any pins about Rainbow Six Siege, tell them in the chat. Have you played the game before? Love to know. I would absolutely love to know.
Guys, join. Oh, I thought I could make it out in time. I don't want to lose my drones at all. Like, keeping a drone alive is so important. Is that a mute? Or was the last mute? I think the last was mute, wasn't it? In 10 seconds. Yeah, it was. Nice, nice, nice. Five seconds. Yeah, quick play is fun too, because you can be more ridiculous about it. Range, people get a lot more sweatier. And for some reason, as a low ranked player, I'm versing champions sometimes. Which is weird. So I don't know if they just started the season or already champion, and we're versing them because of late night gaming. I don't know. Is that a vent? Can't put yourself in there, can you? There's a Valk there too. On the far left. A death marker? No they destroy the drones. Can I rotate through there? Like underneath? That uh Yegi's thing in there. One one down four. One out four remaining. Oh. Nice work. He's popping off. A lot of Smurfs, yeah. Smurfs happen a lot. Swing will get swung, yeah. <laughs> it's actually true. The funny thing is when you swing and someone's trying to warn you something as you're swinging, it's like, it's already too late. I'm dedicated. I'm going 100% in. If I win or die, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm going in. Because I've already swung. <laughs> Uh, now defensive characters. This is when I usually play just Valk or Legion. They seem to be like decent characters, but I got a cool Jaeger skin. I don't mind it. Oh, this character here is cheap as hell. Oh, he's Valk. Uh, the other character is really cheap because you can put traps on doors and people forget to look around when they're low rank, so they just run through and get killed. So it's a free kill from a small gadget. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the armor. This is the most tame game of Rainbow Six Siege I've ever had. No one's like full swearing and getting toxic, so that's good. <laughs> Siege is pretty bad. Where did another one go? Oh, wait. Did it go somewhere? I saw something jump and it's just gone. Huh. Interesting. Five seconds. Absolutely interesting. Put one there, put one over here. And one on site, maybe? Just in case they push through. Now, with these cameras, you can use that as information. So you just flick it through them, put them in good positions, and have angles on everything. And hopefully they don't know where I'm at, so I can jump him and kill him. This staircase here could be a bit worrisome, so I have no cams here. I'm looking here with uh, this play over here. Where's that number? One is at the mark. Oh no. This place is safe. Stays, 
it's vigil. Oh, sorry, a, a knock. Damn, that's green stairs. Now I know the call out. I didn't know what it was. So she rotated. How did she know I was using the cam? She may have seen like a red light from the Valcam. cam. Possibly. IQ, yeah, you're getting better. Yeah, those characters are great. Some of the new characters are so nuts, I haven't, like, I don't understand them. Like, I have credits to buy them, but I don't, I don't buy them, because I don't understand them yet. I haven't seen too much gameplay of them, so I don't bother. I could run her, but I haven't played her in ages. I'll run Vigil. So then I can actually stop the Roma. Hopefully, so that I don't get detected on cams. I just, you know, maybe plays happen. They know I'm playing vigil. Yeah, they know. I was scanned. Down to ten seconds. Five seconds to insertion. Okay. Uh, force located above. Get ready to engage. They already destroyed outdoor cams. Yeah, outdoor cams are all gone. Here's some bulletproof cams, just in case. Where are they? On the floor three or they're on this level? They're out of that window. I'm safe here. Reese is completely safe unless someone jumps me from there. Wait, where did he go? Oh, that was I was trying to do that. Trying to chuck a grenade, but I have nades. So I'm playing this character. Are they pushing? No! There's no way I crashed. This is my second crash. One in Helldivers before I started streaming. Now this. What? Is that because I was streaming? I'm so annoyed. I can't believe I crashed that. I, gonna, I was going to bat a killer player. The most intense moment. What rank am I? I'm only silver at the moment. I just started playing recently. It makes you climb out from copper to go higher. This is the end. No way. I ain't giving up that quickly. I ain't giving up. Never, mates. Never. I just want to get one or two games in. Come on. I do hate how long it takes to load back into the game. So I think it's loading up its anti-cheat and you're syncing your pro, uh, progress, make sure everything's alright. 
Then it sinks again furthermore. I hate that. How long it takes. <laughs> love energy, Jesse. Love it. Also, two games that I'm interested in right now is Alone in the Dark and also, like, other than multiplayer games, Alone in the Dark, like, new games coming out, Alone in the Dark and also Dragon Dogma 2. Those games look somewhat interesting, but I don't know. It, it honestly just depends. If I'm, like, really vibing with it or not. But I'm hoping I do. Sadly, we missed out that way, uh, that round. I'm hoping I don't miss out the next round, which costs us to lose or win. Wait, what? Do we lose? I didn't lose anything though. Huh. There might be a system in place where if you hard DC, you don't lose anything. Hey Vex, how you doing? Yeah, Bevan, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm exactly thinking that. That Dragon Dome 2 will be a long somewhat boring game with some cool moments but not a stream game unless you're just talking and watching stuff at the same time reaction and all that stuff you know to somewhat balance it out because i feel like watching it is gonna be impossible i'm not muted there's no way i'm muted nah i should be muted I'm talking i see it's better for a youtube video that's what i'm thinking too but even then what what would be fun to highlight in dragon Dogma 2 because i played elder ring on the channel, and that was a lot of fun. It was a really fun arc we had on the channel. We finished the game, we streamed it all, I believe, and we did some builds, multiplayer builds, and just test a whole bunch of weapons and stuff. But for Dragon Dogma 2, do I highlight the pawns or do, do I add the classes? I've got no clue. Fight the Kings, like that type of video? I feel like those videos don't do well these days. Uh, those type of videos, but maybe it does. I've got like 100 days to drag with Dogma 2, and just me just sweating, walking <laughs> for days between objectives. That'd be hilarious. Hey, stuff, classes. Yeah, I'm thinking classes. That's where I shine the most. I love talking about classes and going through it and testing it out. Please don't be Emerald um, Plains. Please don't be Emerald Plains. I barely know this map and it's dog shit. Okay, this one we know a bit, so I'm happy with it. Oh, so it's like Elder Ring, so find the best gears, all that stuff. I get it, I get it. Should work out. Not too bad. Hey, Rambo, how you doing? You're doing very well on Twitch. Let's play one of the new characters when I get the chance to, if we're attacking first. Right now, it's just Bandwave. No, new dude is locked for banning. You can't ban new characters in the game. Which I think is actually a neat system in this game. In other games like League of Legends, the new character comes out, it, it is bannable in ranked. Which means you can never actually play it when you first unlocked it. Even if it's broken or good or too strong or too weak, the character is automatically banned by everybody. Which I don't like. In this game, it's like, look, it's a free fall. Anyone can use it. If you're on that team, it's your choice. We banned Fenrir already, so I don't know. Ban this person? Oh, Solaris is a bit annoying too. Oh, got my ban. No, yeah, mm, I don't know. It is. It, I would classify League of Legends as brain rot, but it's fun. <laughs> I've been taken too much by it. <laughs> but I don't know, I like multiplayer games. I've always enjoyed multiplayer games. Like, sometimes you don't feel like there's, like, there's much progression, but the fun is like pretty much destroying your opponent. You know, outplay them, just make them pretty much bleed to death, whatever it may be. Like, I started playing Kisante. If anyone knows about that character in League, it's known to be the shittest character at the moment in the top lane. But I've been enjoying it. It's been hilarious to play with. Okay, let's play Valkyrie again. Secure the bombs. I'm put a cam over... He's too close. I feel like it's not enough. Maybe he's down there. I have sight of everything except main sight. Main sight on B, I just have to 
look around, you know? Use my own eyeballs. That's all the cam's done. Time to redecorate. Op 4 located a bomb. Protect it. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Look at this small peak window. Op 4 has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Home improvement time. You have been spotted. Nah, let's not do this. I'm not that confident anymore. Wrong window. It was actually the other window. They definitely destroyed something. Wait, was that the alibi they just killed? It definitely was her. They know. How? Oh my god, that bit there? That's crazy. She shot through as well for her first shot. I didn't even hear it. I did not even hear that shot. Ants, how do you stop them? Get my Twitch subscriber. We well, should remember. Get rid of the mats. Oh, damn, we got smoked. Ash is still sweaty. Like, still to this day, sweaty character. I do love how they kept him intact. You know? Did ruin the gameplay loop in any way. Who do I use? This character is kind of cool, too. I don't mind him. I think I had a horizontal grip. No, this is not one you can put grips on. Never mind. Let's use this. It's like a Jaeger uh, character. But instead of having three charges from his very start, you have like one or two, and then he goes up to five, depending how long you survive for. Approach the flex. It stops projectiles. That's all got behind it. Walls are usually block over here. We need to play this map a lot. Be advised, a bomb location yes, there's only new characters. Many people don't know about them. Where the hell was that from? Did they just go past us? Down to 10 seconds. Five seconds left. I was scanned again, by the way. I can't see where it scanned me from. Put another one over here. Which means I could actually stay in this room, by the way. Maybe breaking this is a good idea. But I don't have a gun to break it. Oh, this actually works not too bad. I'll keep breaking it. Go from there. Can't break that frame though. Oh, I just made a bloody window. Trying magnet. Okay. Magnet activated. I'm dead. Oh, I got smoked. Well, why don't they could take an impact nades as a secondary option there? Instead of pulse. Yeah, that angle's dirty still. So this mirror window, it's like actually decent the one you have here. The one I had in my other room was awful. I, I could not do much with that because I couldn't open it up. But I can still use it in some way. Oh, that was a nice drone. This is a new character too. I think it's Thorns? No. It's not Thorns. It's a different one. I don't know what she does. Never mind. I'm not going to bother explaining it. This one I know because she's old school. She puts the windows. There's a fuse. Ah, uh, there's a fuse. Reloading. Destroy it. Damn, 
Damn, that should've been dead. If I did the exact thing, what the hell? How that works so well in her favor? If I did the exact thing, I'd be dead. There's an angle there, but that angle is so weird. What the hell was that? Oh no, there's gonna get two piece. Friendly, last operator standing. Damn, three flashes, it's over. That's it, GG. Round's over. Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, he jumped in last second. It was just, it was no sound. So it looks like it's easy to attack from above on that part of the map. So why do we keep choosing this part? We should be choosing somewhere in between. So we don't get jumped on like that. Yeah, I'm thinking downstairs too. I agree with him. Now I can run Legion. And then we can actually break uh, some of the parts of the map. Legion has traps where if you place them down, you get in contact with the trap, it will make you bleed. And if you don't take out the, the shard out of your leg, you will continuously bleed after a cer certain proc, like a tick, does like a tick damage. And if you take it out of time, you won't die. But if you take it out of time, you're staggered. You're taking it out. Uh, I might reinforce this wall. Well, there's no such thing as a weak inside in this game. I don't remember. Going out. Ten seconds to insertion. Oh, the drone though. Five seconds and counting. Uh, Door secure. A bomb. Get ready to engage. We had a banner, they put the traps over there to stop him from entering. They already scanned us, that's awful. No way the wooden tim uh, timber that fell off made sound. I think it did. Yeah, it's better not explain. There's no point. Me tempting would be awful. I ping that location without scanning them. So they know. Ah, uh, fuse above. There's a fuse above. I think it's Fuse, though, the guy that does that. On tag? Wait, what the hell does this guy do? The cop. They broke the barricade that I put up. Uh, last nice, got a kill. It should be easy for them. Yeah, killing drones is smart. You kind of have to do it. So they have constant intel. His aim was so good, but then it just fell apart because the pillar got in the way. He's on four. Imagine having constant wall hacks of the enemy's positioning and still losing that.
Okay, now we play attacking. So let's try out my legendary skins. We have one for Ying and also Nock. These elite skins, thanks to Yusuf, sending us through. Be able to showcase on the channel today. That's the fun. I get some cool ass weapon skins too. Like that texture there, which you see on the gun a little bit over here, and the pistol too. And the character on the right there. She's become a queen now. <laughs> For this character here, Nox, she plays like... I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly as well. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, she plays like Vigil. She counters information as she's pushing through. Drone so, camera feeds can't see her. Oh, top wall. Not bad. We could switch out a character if that's the case. Maybe Ying's better here? Let's play Ying. Ying has the ability to actually uh, chuck flashbangs. A like constant flashbang. Could be decent for top floor. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. She has legendary skin on too, this character. She looks nutty. You haven't seen it from this perspective, but it looks right. Play top side. Spotted by scan. Oh no. Where's the cam? Did they destroy it? There was one over there. We got destroyed. Nice. Oh, Ash doesn't get killed by that. Moving next. You know what? We trust him with that type of gun. Not myself. The hatch was over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, she opened it. Nice. I need something with explosive, which I don't have. Bomb staircase is clear. What? He had a shotgun. And he killed me that quickly. So my flash got him, see? Damn, I should have maybe rushed in. That was the case. Go back to TC, maybe on the 28th of March, we'll give it a go. Reloading. The only thing that happens on the 28th of March is, like, if things happen with Dragon Double 2 and also Alone in the Dark. If not, it'll be 28th is Suicide Squad Joker and uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Mill and new character, I think, if I'm mistaken. I'll check at that point. I'm getting smoked, by the way. Usually I play a bit better. Yeah, <laughs> a bit better. Friendly, last operator standing. We have been Damn. Eliminated. You see my legendary skin, hopefully. Comes up. Oh, you can't even see here. I'll show you the main lobby. Some of these skins look crazy as hell. What's the one on the right? That's freaky. So that's that skin there. The one we just ran with. So we got Ying. Like this. With that weapon skin as well. Which looks nice. Doesn't change the drone skin, sadly. But that's her skin right there. Then we have Nock. Looks like this. And she looks crazy. So I do like this a lot. Just have to get better at the character. That's all. And obviously Deimos is the new operator we can talk about. A lot of fun. Very vibey too. There's some cool ones like Ram, uh, Grim, which I think he does like hives and stuff, which is kind of cool to see in action. But attacks are really fun. The defenders right now that I'm grabbing say Oh, also Ace. Where's Ace? Uh, where is he? This character here is nutty. Like, it's actually a lot of fun to play with. The ace character. Because of the amount of potential he has to breach stuff. When it comes to defenders... The ones I've been kind of gravitating to have been just Valkyrie and Legion. The Legion is over here. Valkyrie over here. Sometimes Echo is somewhat interesting to play. 
Old Cav. I haven't played him so long that I don't bother. And Vigil's alright too. I think I have to pick up Smoke again. And get used to Smoke as well. The smoke is really good. Ranked uh, scene. I know that for sure. Oh, these maps. This map's cool. Uh, I don't know what this map is. I've never heard about the Outback. I'm from Australia. Never heard about that one. <laughs> no chance we're playing that. So they're going through a series of bans. I don't think this exists before. There was like a banning phase. I don't think it was there before. That I can remember in the rank scene. So it was, wasn't too many characters back then. That she there, she rings her your phones like crazy in the game. So she gets sound indicators from it. Which is actually really strong. You gonna ban Ella? No way. This might be random. This image here is just uh, random. Yeah, I think it is. It's not indicative of what they're actually banning. Is this carnival map? I think it is, yeah. I know this map. Okay, now we play Knock really well here. So we can do a bit more roaming. Oh, we got Mars Chief. Damn, came from Halo. That skin, uh, elite skin's nutty. Like, these are elite skins here. The one you see there, I think, is also elite skin. This is elite skin. But the one that we just saw for a split second, that's a whole new level of elite skin. It's like a crossover one, and it's actually nutty. They're not here. Actually, they might be close by. Damn, was that Clad? I think it was a cool character called Clad. I don't have to scan them at all because we didn't need any information from there. Only when you have a Deimos team, you kind of need it. Five seconds to go. Enjoy, Jesse. Enjoy, enjoy. Found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. You must recover the diffuser. The diffuser has been secured. Was that a screen peek? That was. Oh, like, you know, a little peek from early spawn. There's a mirror window there too. Which means they ain't got dirty spots to look at. Can I summon this information? Nearly had him.
Uh, run. Oh, he got the mirror. One friendly option. What? No way! No way! I hit him so hard too. Well done, well done. So knock wasn't too bad there, actually. Can't pop it off with knock. Let's use Ying. Ying would have helped with the engagements there. Furthermore, like knocks your like stealth pusher. So if your team doesn't die quickly, having a knock on your team push up and flank and do something crazy is really good. But if your team's just going super aggressive, playing something like Ying works out pretty well as well. I don't mind it. I'll keep this smoke grenade though. We don't, we don't have too much breach potential, so that's a bit of the downside there. Actually, we don't have any breach potential except for sledge. I don't think that could go through reinforced walls. Don't hear them at all. Has to be upstairs again. It's right here, actually. Very close. Drone has located a bomb. That was, uh, I think Mosquito is called. Which does that. Or Mozzie? I don't know what the name the character is called. Ten seconds. Essentially counters your drones. Five seconds before insertion. So even during the round, if I put a drone out and that thing's there, it will just latch onto it and I'll lose my drone. I might just push through here and go batshit crazy. Is there a hole in the wall? No. What the hell? He pushed up through my smoke? Cocky. Well done. Friendly last operator standing. He was nearly dead as well. That's unfortunate. That's with his O charge heal, I think. Damn. That was a double. There's two more. There's two more. That's unfortunate. As he's droning, he gets hit. Or throwing a drone, he gets shot at. For one second, he let go. That guy was low too. Unless he healed himself. I actually don't know if he healed himself. Doesn't look like it. Unless that is his remaining HP after that trade just then. I'll play Ace. 
This character I've got more comfortable with because of his uh, gameplay style. Just like a stronger Habana, if you didn't know that character. Well done on his part. Wait, can you pick up his, his mech and keep doing that? Is that the reason why he's doing that? Just shooting it non-stop? He keeps picking it up. Like, getting rid of all that drones like that is kind of good fun. Like, really, really good. Uh, best way to enter could be through that window there. That was a pretty dirty window. Oh, he went past me. Oh, one on staircase. He got healed by his teammate. Is it the same one or is it another one? Who was I versing first? Was that Doc? It might have been Doc that was versing first. Oh, look at Master Chief. Will be three Master Chief. Come on. Oh, he didn't put his aim down at all. <laughs> it looks like drop shotting actually works too. Can we make a comeback? Is it even possible? Kind of doubtful right now. It's always hard to choose what you want to play on defense. I feel like. That was a good movement on his part. Drones? Probably not. Put my laser traps close by, so if anyone pushes, they get hit by a trap straight away. It probably goes back for them. As they fully swing for a kill. Blind scan, stay still. Nice. What? Oh my god, my teammate is in the same position. So I thought it was him. I looked at him like, wait, it's someone different. Oh, dude, that was a rookie mistake. Hey, it's alright. I'm playing more chill today. It's my early morning slash afternoon. Shipping that. One. Make it winnable. Could be a massive comeback right now. Nice work. 
That's awkward. That's very awkward. Did I do a nice shot like that? When your gun's pointing out the gizway position. Who do I want to play? Play Cap Can and get some cheeky kills. As long as they don't know I'm in the game, this is really good for us. Actually, I should take this to the other side. No one checks left. I don't know. Let's see. What? Wait, they destroyed the trap already? I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. They already destroyed it. He's so low on HP. Look at him. So low. It was one HP. Because they scan with Lion and they usually want to play uh, aggressive when they scan with Lion. Because everyone else has played defensive. I'm still rusty at this game, so you can see me trying to get back into it again. It's kind of hard since everyone's so experienced, but you're right. One friendly remaining. Nah, this is over. There's no way. This place was uh, roaming. I'm too far up as well. There's a drone right next to it on the left. And they scanned her. They just scanned her. Yeah, see, that's unfortunate. That drone cooked her. Well, that was interesting. Suppressed with it, like a horizontal grip. Pretty cool. That was an LMG, not even an MP5. Wow. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I, th I think this game, from wh when I played it until now, is actually insane to see how much it has, has grown, you know? I'm happy about that. So we end up playing this game more and more every day now. We also have For Honor as well, which is, I haven't played For Honor in years. So it'd be cool to revisit that, most likely on another stream. Have some fun there. But right now, am I, did I just derank? <laughs> I just deranked, didn't I? Yeah, we're back to bronze. Oh no. How awful is that? <laughs> but a lot of fun. Deimos goes hard. The elite skins are great to have. I enjoy them. There's some nutty elite skins in the game, which make your character look crazy, like Master Chief or Sledge, uh, Sledge as well. It's nice. It's really, really nice. And this battle pass goes quite nicely. But there's certain skins like this. This looks crazy clean. Look at that. That armor set is insane. You can get the gun as well with it to match it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Back to bronze. It happens, yeah. The amount of rank games I've played, like, I don't mind going back in rank if it's just still fun. And somewhat competitive. I just can't play a quick match because I feel like everyone there is like brain dead sometimes. <laughs> it's the worst thing. But honestly, a lot of fun. Absolutely a lot of fun. That's going to be it for this stream. 
I'll be playing more Ram Six Siege on the channel, hopefully. Alongside Fina soon, and some other games too, as we do. And a lot of Hell Divers too. They expect content from today, record that we recorded on stream to be as actual videos. And I just want to keep having fun with this, as we usually do. As always, mates, it's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye-bye.